Travaskis and Potts share 149 to put Durham on top. It's been a pretty even contest so far at the county ground in Northampton. The hosts had been skittled for under 200, Luke Proctor with 76 to give them something to bowl at, and then Durham had been caused concern. Lees, Jones, Beddingham and Eckersley all out with the score a shade above 100. Scott Borthwick had forged an important partnership with Clark late on day one, and they returned to the middle looking to build on their start. They got as far as 93 together, the score up to 142, when Kerrigan got one to keep low and bowl the Durham captain for 73. They found their way past 150, but they'd lose their other set batsmen soon after. Clark, another for Kerrigan, bowled for 42. Rain and Coughlin, though, halted the Northamptonshire momentum, dreams of leaving Durham in deficit diminishing now. But so it proved, the partnership productive, Durham into the lead, with lunch just around the corner. When they reached the break, the score was 190 for 6. Durham now had a lead of 7 runs. The pair soon had the score past 200. The mark reached with a lovely back foot shot from Coughlin. Another took the value of the partnership to 50. Durham with an opportunity now thanks to the 7th wicket duo. Coughlin had played his way to the verge of 50 himself when his innings was brought to an end. Out on 48 when Jack White found the edge. Sanderson then removed his longtime partner Rain, out for 32, bowled by a bale trimmer. But Durham were unmoved. They took the score past 250, with this gorgeous shot for four from Travaskis. And they remained through to T. The score at the break, 264 for eight. Durham's lead, now up to 81. The ninth wicket was worth 50 runs off 120 balls after the break, and there was more to come from Potts and Travaskis. They were soon up to 300, and with that landmark reached, Potts opened up. Zybe sent soaring for six. Travaskis then had his 50, picked up off 74 balls, an excellent innings coming with a just reward. Another huge six from Potts took them to the cusp of 100 runs as a duo. That mark sealed with a quick Travaskis single. Potts joined his partner on a half century with his fifth four of the innings. The mark reached of 103 balls. And it wouldn't be long before they were up to 350. Just two wickets in hand, but 400 well within reach before the end of the day if they could keep this up. They certainly could. Potts not shy in the slightest in taking on whatever Northamptonshire threw his way. It took his side to 385 and his total to 81 when he fell, bowled by Sanderson. Just one more wicket needed by the hosts. Rushworth made sure that they'd find their way to 400. He and Travaskis put on 15 in nine balls before Sales stopped them, the number 11 out for five. The captain initially led Durham's charge, and effectively so with a fruitful partnership with Clark. Travaskis and Potts though took the baton and ran with it. Their partnership worth 149, and that made Potts the top scorer of the match so far. A huge total on the board and a decent lead over to see what Northamptonshire could do. They were solid in what remained of the day. Gay and Vasconcelos took the score to double figures before the close, finishing on 10 for none. They've got quite some way to go though before they find parity, let alone start thinking about a lead. Durham have set themselves up for another go at an innings victory, but the hosts won't roll over. Their lineup packed with fight, and they'll show plenty of that on day three.